So here's a fun little game to make. Christmas coming up. So let's delete the scratch cat and we're going to create a nice little snowman. Three circles. One, two, and three. I'm going to use the rectangle shape to make that and then the paint bucket to fill it in. Carrot nose and a couple of dots for the eyes. So there's Frosty. Let's put him to the center left of the screen and let's name the game. This is where you could also add in a backdrop if you want to. There's some great winter scenes or Antarctica. I'm going to keep mine plain for this game, but you go crazy. Okay, sprite number two, super tricky. It's a circle, which I've colored white. It's a white circle and I'm calling it, yep, you're right, it's a snowball. So here's the snowball. Right center, and I'm going to place some code on it. And that code is when the flag is clicked, it's just going to fly towards the left 25 times and then continue. So that's just going to be continuous movement of a snowball. I could make this go faster if I wanted to. This is a pace I have right now. Now I'm going to add another snowball. For this one I'm going to make it a little bit tricksy. So again, flag clicked, it's going to go to the left, it's going to go up, it's going to the left. It's going to go down, and that will repeat, and it looks like that, which is a little bit crazy, so let's make it move a few more times, three, three, two, and three. Choose whatever makes you happy, and again you can make this go faster to make the game a bit more tricky. So now, if we click the flag, we've got the two snowballs, which will be flying towards the snowman. Now it's called Frosty Snow Dodge at the moment, Frosty is not dodging. So I'm going to create two more sprites, an up arrow and a down arrow, which will make Frosty move up and of course make Frosty move down. And I'm going to position these two arrows at the bottom of the screen. You might notice that later in the game I moved them to the bottom right hand because I found it was easier to play that way. Now we get the bottom left hand where Frosty got in the way, and if Frosty bumps him, well, we'll see what happens. Now we're going to put a great little piece of code on these two arrows. It's going to be, when tapped, send a message, and then stop. And I'm going to hold it on the other sprite, and it will just copy it in there. So I've got two different colors. I've got color A and color B. That's right, I'm colorblind, I don't know what they are. And then I go to Frosty. And Frosty receives color, I think red, it's going to go up, let's check it, that's working. And so the next one will be if Frosty receives color, other color, not too sure, green, let's call it green. It's going to go down and then stop. And now Frosty will move up and down. Pretty cool, eh? So the flags click, the balls are flying, Frosty's moving, and everything is great. But, uh-oh, nothing happens. And Frosty gets hit by a snowball. So we're going to add another bit of code when bumped. What will happen when Frosty gets hit by a snowball? Well, I'm going to add an extra backdrop, delete the cat, and add a title. The title will be Game Over. One life in this game. I'll just move it to the center. Now we'll go back to Frosty and add a piece of code. When bumped, we want to change backdrop to backdrop 2 comes through now, game is testing along, oh, game over, reset, what's happened, is it working again, he's dodging, he's pretty cool, he's gone, oh, game over, I'm not very good at this, but I guess you guys will be better, give it a go, lots of fun, Merry Christmas, ho ho ho.